In 2022, I helped 100 people save over $900,000. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rennie. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I appreciate you for watching this video, taking the time out of your busy, busy, busy day to watch this video. Like, it means a lot. From the bottom of my heart, it means a lot to me. So if you're new here, I make content about financial literacy, career development, and lifestyle. And today, you can tell that this video is all about financial literacy. So today, we're gonna be talking about how you can meet your financial goals in 2023, okay? We have reached a new year. And you know how they say new year, new me? I know it's annoying, but like, it is a good time to start uh, setting your goals. But no matter when you're watching this video, remember that this is the time to start setting new goals. So whether you're watching this in January 2023 or April 2026, this is the time for you to start setting your financial goals and I'm gonna be telling you exactly how to do that. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that like button and comment down below what goal you have for 2023 because I would really love to know your financial goals. The first step to achieving your financial goals for 2023 is to release yourself from the guilt and the shame and the sadness that you harbor about not reaching your past goals. Oftentimes we set goals for ourselves and we don't achieve them and that stops us from achieving the next goal that we would ideally like to set. And I want you to release yourself from all of that. There is no reason to be so hard on yourself that you are going to stop your future progress. Like, think about it. Does that make sense? That because you didn't achieve one thing, now you're gonna limit yourself from achieving another thing? Be for real. I need you to stop it, snap out of it, and release yourself. In shifting this mindset to a more abundant mindset, a more positive mindset, I'm going to ask that you reflect on 2022, but not just the bad that went on last year, but also the good. So ask yourself, what went well for me in 2022? Ask yourself that, because again, it's a tendency to focus on the negative, but there is so much good that has probably come up from the last year. So focus on how good you did last year and what you can do to replicate those good things in for 2023. The second step to achieving your financial goals for 2023 is to set smart goals. I hope you have heard me. I didn't just say set goals, but I said set smart goals. And if you don't know what smart goals are, smart goals are goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound or time sensitive. So Essentially what that means is these are detailed goals. These are goals that are very, very, very detailed. They're not goals that you just say, I want to save a lot of money in 2023. That's not, that's not a realistic goal and it, or it's not a, it's not a smart goal and it doesn't benefit you in any way because what is a lot of money? How are you going to save that money? Where's the money going to be saved? What are you spending the money on? These are the questions. So when I say smart, the S specific, so you can say, I want to save $20,000. I will save it in my high interest savings account that I have with EQ Bank. This will be X number of dollars that I have to transfer to my account every two weeks. And I am going to be using this money for my property fund, okay? See how specific that was? I know exactly what the money is for, where it is gonna be held, how often I need to transfer money into the account. And it's very, very, very detailed. So there's no room for error for me to miss it. The next thing that you wanna do with your SMART goal is M, measurable. So this means how I'm going to measure my success. And the way that you can do that is by using my savings plans. If you are a returning subscriber, you know that I have released savings plans for the past two years. I've saved nine, I helped people save $950,000 last year. And the way that I was able to do that was simply by allowing people to use my savings plans. So I'm going to put you on, you can download them via the link in my bio. Uh, there's a PDF version and essentially I break down values from $1,000 in a year to $50,000 in one year. And it allows you to save towards this goal. So it says if you get paid once a month and you are trying to save $20,000 a year, then each month you are going to need to save $1,800. If you get paid twice a month or bi-weekly and you want to save $20,000 in a year, you have to put away $800 bi-weekly into a savings account in order to get there. And it breaks them down into very easy and actionable 
steps. So use my savings plans in order to do this for you. I have videos on how to use them if you would like to, but these are the truth. And breaking your goals down like this, every two weeks you're gonna measure your success. You're gonna put a check mark, check mark, check mark to say that, yeah, I did that. I sent my money into that account and I am accomplishing my goals. And this acts as like a, a reward for you. You get happy because you're actually moving closer and closer to your goals. I also am now providing you all with a financial goal tracker. So we all have lots of financial goals, right? And oftentimes we don't track them, as I said. So I created a financial goal tracker that will allow you to save, to track your investing goals, your savings goals, and your debt repayment goals all in one place. It's very easy to use. My accountability group members have been using them and so far are loving it. So if you would like to use it, you can use the link in my bio. It's available on Etsy and I tried to make it as affordable as possible. So check it out if you're interested in it and it will definitely help you reach your goals. And it's a way to support my channel if you do appreciate this content. So next is A, attainable. Is this goal that I'm setting something that's actually attainable for someone with my income level? The answer may be yes, the answer may be no. And you need to decide that by actually looking at the numbers in your account and how much you get paid on a regular basis, what your expenses are, and see if saving X amount per month, per every two weeks, is something that's realistic and attainable for you. So, for example, if I use that $20,000 a year example, and that means you have to save $800 by weekly in order to get there, ask yourself, how much do you get paid every month? If every two weeks you are getting paid $900 and this plan is to save $800 and you know you have other expenses, then it's not a wise choice because like, yeah, it's just not a wise choice because it's not realistic and then you're going to get discouraged because it's not realistic. And that brings me on to R, realistic. You want your goal to not be so big that it is unattainable and something you won't even strive for because you're getting overwhelmed by it. So choose a goal that is realistic for you at your income level and based on the number of expenses that you have. And to get there, you can also make sure that you're budgeting. So again, you can see how much is coming into your account and how much is going out of your account. The last thing that you need to focus on when you're setting your SMART goals is is your goal time bound? So your goal may be to sell, save $20,000, but how long is it gonna take you to get there? And again, using my savings plans, they're meant for one year. So you can save $20,000 in one year by using my savings plan. So set a time around a time frame around the goal that you are setting for yourself. The third thing that I want you to do in order to achieve your financial goals in 2022 is I want you to tell someone about your goals. It's one thing for you to keep your goals in here okay it's one thing for you to keep your goals in here but the world should not not the world but like other people should know about your goals because they are able to help you stay accountable as I mentioned earlier I have an accountability group and in 2022 I helped 100 people save over nine hundred thousand dollars saving investing and repaying in debt nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars is what we, we did in 2022 and like to me that's amazing and the reason that so many of them were able to stay true to their goal is because there was someone checking in on them every two weeks in order to help them achieve that goal. So if you are trying to achieve any goal, not just finances, but any goal, find someone who is like-minded, who has similar goals to you, who is reliable, and they can help you stick to your goals. If you want a whole video about how to choose the right accountability partner for you, you can let me know. But yeah, choose, find yourself an accountability partner or an accountability group. Let me know below, do you currently have an accountability partner? Let me know. Okay, so the next thing I want you to do in order to achieve your financial goals in 2023 is I want you to put in that work. Okay, I know it's easier said than done, but here, here are a few things you can do to actually put in the work to achieve your goals. Because again, as I said, many people set goals, but most people don't actually put in the work to achieve them. So here's what you can do. First, open a separate account for the goal that you were going to be focusing on. So if your goal is to save $20,000 in a year and it's for your house fund, open a bank account specifically for this. EQ Bank is one of my favorites, or you can use Neo Financial, Simply Financial. Any of these no fee banks that we have available in Canada are a great option and they provide you with a high interest a higher interest than a typical savings account. So check those out. I will leave the links in my description box and they are affiliate links. They will tell you that Rennie sent you. Okay, so you open your account and it's specific to this goal. You're not mixing in all your goals into one account, but you're separating. So I have a house fund, a travel fund, a car fund. 
like literally I have so many different accounts just because it allows me to know exactly where which goal I'm taking money out of and putting money into the next thing I want you to do is to automate your transfers so let's say that you are trying to save that twenty thousand dollars a year a year and it is eight hundred dollars by weekly automate your transfers from your checking account to your savings account so you don't even have to think about it okay what this means is that every single time that you get paid the money will automatically be taken from your checking account and moved to your savings account and you won't even have the time to miss it I made a whole video about paying yourself first and this is the exact concept you want to pay yourself first before any of your bills are paid take out that savings money what most people do instead is they tend to save out of the money that's left over after they spent a spent on all their expenses and things but the the best way to do it would be to pay yourself first this is what the rich do so I'm telling you the secrets of the rich and I want I want you to I want all of us to emulate the rich so we can become rich one day too I have more tips about that but this video is getting a bit long so let's slip on to step six and let me know if you want a full video on how to make saving easier for you uh, and I can give you more tips such as automating and things like that step six on how to achieve your savings goal this year is actually to celebrate yourself okay you need to celebrate yourself and all the wins that you have had thus far Far. A lot of times we get down on ourselves because we feel like we're not achieving anything and it's because we haven't celebrated the little wins. So, you know, I have a ta-da list and every time I meet a milestone or something good happens, no matter how little or how big, I celebrate that. And I have a whole note from the past two years in my phone past four years, five years in my phone uh, from 2018 that detail all the wins that I've had thus far. I want you to do the same for your finances. Once you say you're trying to meet Say you're trying to achieve $20,000 and you get to the $1,000 mark. That is a huge milestone and I need you to celebrate yourself. When I say celebrate, oh, <laughs> I'm not meaning that you should go and spend all the money that's in your account. For me personally, I like food, so maybe I will say that, okay, now that I've saved $1,000, I'm going to take myself out for a dinner by myself and go on a nice solo date. That is an example. So. Again, do something that works for you personally. We are all different, and I'm not encouraging you to go and spend all the money that you've saved, but it's important to celebrate the little wins because it helps us and it, it drives us to get to the end. These are some of the tips that I have for you to achieve your savings goals in 2023. I want us all to win this year. I want us all to kill it this year. And I know we can do it. We just need to put in the work. So I'm here to help you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And if you have any other tips that I did not mention, also leave them below because it will help a lot of people. Remember, you can download my savings plans for free 99. They're completely free. So use the link in my description box. And you can also go more in depth and download my financial goal tracker, which goes way, way, way more in depth and allows you to actually visualize. It's all automated so you can see exactly what you are saving and how it is contributing to your overall goal. So if any of this is interesting to you, again, links are in the description box. Make sure to like this video comment what you want to see next and I will see you in the next video bye